Professor Rebecca Flores and Mark Mercado to present a plaque of appreciation. CYSO PBB present this plaque of appreciation to Madame Ingrid Sala Santa Maria in grateful recognition of her lifelong commitment and dedication to music that touched and changed the lives of people from different walks of life for her positive influence and continuing effort to reach out and help talented young musicians in nurturing and honing their skills and shaping them to become outstanding musicians that will have its impact in the next generation. Her life will always be an inspiration. Even during the CYSO PPP reunion concert at SM City Cebu Cinema One, Cebu City, this 10th day of April in the year of our Lord 2010, signed Madame Susan M. Sala, President of SPSFI, Mark Hamlet Mercado, CYSO PPP Concert Master, and Professor Robel Flores, CYSO PPP Resident Conductor. from our kids who are no longer kids. They are wonderful musicians, wonderful professionals, wonderful persons. Thank you very much. I have a kind of uh, response and some kind of remarks prepared, but I would like to deviate and say that when the roses started coming one by one, I was thinking, don't we do this at the 18th birthday in years? <laughs> so I started feeling like a debutante. <laughs> but I would like to share with you, since you have been with us all the way, I am actually entering my seventh decade. the ones who were with us all the way for almost 20 years, that for 10 years, 1991 to 2000, when we launched the first uh, CYSO in 1995, and was PPP in 2000, I gave uh, 10 years, the best 10 years of my life to you. And uh, thank you. I received a beautiful big bouquet of flowers. Of course, I was excited to see who it came from. It came from one of my children. You see, when I started, when we started Sala Foundation, and we, very much Madame Susan beside me, I told my children I have to go back to Cebu for 10 years and do something important. And uh, despite the distance, we have to find a way to stay connected. And if ever something happens to me before I finish my job, I don't want a single tear, I don't want a single flower. And so my children started sending me flowers for no occasion every so often. And two days ago was one such occasion. I would like to mention to the orchestra that what you have done tonight is a huge day, not only of flowers, but of beautiful music, a beautiful example of what can become of a human being who develops himself or herself to the best of his or her capacity. And now I see you not only as performing musicians, but I see you as sharing individuals. I see in you a spirit of volunteerism, 
I see in you a desire to want to continue to make the seed that we planted 20 years ago to make it flower and to serve our community. At uh, this point, I would like to mention that I have been hearing about this project for about two years, and it was always a surprise, surprise, surprise. So I never really quite knew what was happening or what was going to happen. And uh, the last week, we have had about a dozen come from abroad and uh, from Manila for this event. I would like to make special mention of our first conductor, Rodel Torres. Please come and join me on stage for you, Rodel. came from Australia, the Lexonas Brothers, Ray, and And please remain standing. As I call everyone's name, ever names, I call people remain standing. From Brunei, we have Reggie Parehaus and Lance. From Netherlands, he has been there 10 years. When they were sent, a group of our students were sent to Netherlands for a three-week scholarship. Giovanni Nevada was, uh, was noticed and he was offered immediately a four-year scholarship and he stayed on and worked and played there for ten years. Netherlands, Giovanni. He's already standing there. Thank you very much for your support. 